quadratic equation by factoring method. There are other ways you can solve quadratic equation using completing the square method, formula method, graphical method. In this video, we are going to consider factoring method. Before we solve problems, let's consider coefficient of x in a quadratic equation. The coefficient of x square here is 1. The coefficient of x square here is 2. And the coefficient of x square here is 3. Let's solve this quadratic equation. Step number 1. Use the coefficient of x square to multiply the constants. That's step number 1. And that will be 1 multiply by 6 and your answer is 6. Step number 2, split the middle number into 2. Think of two numbers. When you add the two numbers, it's going to give you a 5, which is this 5. And these two numbers, if you multiply the two numbers, you're going to get a 6. The two numbers are 2 and 3 because 2 plus 3 will give you 5 and 2 times 3 will give you 6. Hence, 2 and 3 satisfied this and 2 and 3 satisfied this. Next, we just open two brackets which is equal to 0. Then we just write x here and x here. The two numbers are plus 2 and plus 3. I just took these two numbers and put both of them each in the bracket. Next, I will solve x plus 2 is equal to 0. Also, x plus 3 is equal to 0. Our answer is minus 2 and minus 3. To solve this, step number 1. Use the coefficient of x square to multiply the constant at the end. Hence, you have 1 times minus 6 and your answer is minus 6. Step number 2. Split the middle number having coefficient of x into 2. Then, there are two numbers. If you add these two numbers, you are going to get minus 5. And if you multiply these two numbers, you are going to get minus 6. What are the two numbers? You can see that minus 6 and 1. Minus 6 plus 1 will give you minus 5, which is exactly this. That is, minus 6 plus 1 is minus 5. Also, minus 6 times 1 will give you minus 6. Hence, this gave us this and this gave us this. Hence, our two numbers are minus 6 and 1. Next, open two brackets is equal to 0. And you have x here and x here. Your two numbers are minus 6 and plus 1. And our answer is 6 and minus 1. To solve this by factorization method, you're going to use the coefficient of x square multiply 14. And you're going to have 1 times minus 14 and your answer is minus 14. Next, split the middle into two. There are two numbers. When you add the two numbers, you're going to get five. But when you multiply these two numbers, you're going to get minus 14. What are the two numbers? You can say is minus two and seven. Next, open 
two brackets then have x here x here next put your minus 2 and your plus 7 is equal to 0 if you solve this carefully your x is equal to 2 and your x is equal to minus 7 in this problem the coefficient of x square is no longer 1 this is 2 hence open two brackets next take the coefficient of x square which is 2 what are the two numbers that if i multiply these two numbers i'm going to get 2 x squared it is 2 x and x both will give me this hence i will put 2 x here then i will write x next i will consider the last what are the two numbers that if i multiply i get three they are one and three next since i got a negative here i will put a minus here and a minus here because minus one multiply minus three will still give you a plus three this becomes our answer if you expand this bracket seven will come out if you expand our answer you get back the question this multiply by this will give you 2x squared and this multiply by this we are going to get minus 6x next this multiply by this will give you minus x and this multiply by this you're going to get plus 3 you have this minus 7x plus 3 which are just giving us back our question in this problem consider the coefficient of x square first that is i got 12x squared what are the two numbers if i multiply i get 12x squared i can have 12 and 1 i can have 2 and 6 i can have 4 and 3 because 12 multiply by 1 will give me 12 2 times 6 will give me 12 and 4 times 3 will give me 12 remember we need to open our two brackets the only two numbers that if i put here and i expand it i'm going to get back 13 hence i'm going to have 4x and i'm going to get 3x next i consider the last number what are the two numbers if i multiply both i will get three the two numbers are three and one next consider the middle number remember i considered x square first the coefficient of x square next i consider the constant and last i considered the middle number the middle number got a negative hence i will have here a negative and a negative why so minus 3 multiply minus 1 so that i can get 3 back if you solve this you see that your x1 is 3 over 4 and your x2 is 1 over 3 if you decide to consider 12 and 1 and you expand the bracket you are not going to get 13 back you are going to get minus 15 if you consider one two and six and you expand the bracket you're going to get minus 12. the only two numbers that can give you back minus 13 is four and three in this problem do the same thing open up two brackets next two x and here is going to be x why because 2x multiply x 
will give you back 2x square. Remember, I considered the first coefficient of x square. Next, I will consider the constant. There are two numbers. If I multiply them, I will get minus 15. I will get 1 and 15 will give me that and 3 and 5 will equally give me that. However, it's only 3 and 5 that will enable me return minus 7. Hence, I'm going to have 3 and 5. What will I do to the 3 and 5 so that I will get minus 15? That means only one of them is going to have a negative. Hence, this will be plus and this will be minus. And this becomes our answer. Your two results are x equal to minus 3 over 2 and x equal to 5. Using the method you just learned now, which is factoring method, solve the following problems. In the next video, we'll consider completing the square method. I will see you in the next video.